tēnā koutou, tēnā tātou kato. I call uh, Marama Fox. A tēnā koe e te mana a whakawā. A nei te mihi atu ki a koutou. Tēnā koutou, te rohe o te wairua, te mahia, te nūhaka. Koutou kato i tāi a tīnana mai ki tēnei whare nei te mihi atu ki a koutou. A me o koutou kaumātua, nā here whakapapa e hono ai tātou katoa i rotu i te rohe o Ngāti Kahungunu nei te mihi atu ki a koutou. Kai te mihi atu ki a koutou, ngā rangatira, nā hākui, nā hākoro kai wainui a koutou. Hari kua rawatu te tūtaki a koutou e noho nei tēnei wā. Kai ngā iwi o te rohe o te wairua, ko rongo mai wahine, ko ngā e te rā kātoa, ko ngā ti rā kai pāka, ko te whakaki nui a rua, a rā ko ngā ti hine, ko ngā ti hine pua, ko ngā e te ipu me ngā e tahu mata whaiti, ko ngā tokorima a hine manuhiri, ko ngā ti hine mihi, ko ngā ti hine hika, ko ngā ti hinga ngā. Koe nei koutou, kai te mihi atu ki a koutou. Hara mai, hara mai ki tēnei whare o tatou. E hara tēnei te whare o ngai mātou, te ao tōranga pū e he. Ko te whare nei te whare o te tangata o ao te arua, ko koutou tēna, ko tātou tēna. Koe nei tō tātou whare, tēna koutou, hara mai, hara mai, hara mai. Mr. Speaker, Today marks an important turning point in the relationship between Ngā iwi and Ngā hapū o te rohe o te wairua and the Crown. The signing of the deed of settlement last year in November was a significant occasion. Such a proud moment. Such an honour to be there in your presence, to see all those amazing photos of your tūpuna lined up in front of the whare, to be greeted by the upe taua in a poor hiri with the wero. So proud. It's a little, you know, a little bit confusing sometimes for Māori politicians to be walking in with the crown to offer the apology on behalf of uh, this government to our people. But I always take it as an opportunity to just to live in the moment and embrace the wairua of the occasion. And how proud I was to be there with you in all your glory, with all your tūpuna, lined up on the maho of that whare to recognise the significant work that you and your Fano and your kui and your kaumata for years and years and years have been doing to bring you to this moment and at that time to that moment. The task has... Uh, not been undertaken lightly. It is a huge responsibility that we bear to rectify the injustices of the past, to carve out a place for our present, to ensure that our children and our tamariki are catered for in this significant deed of settlement, the signing, put our best negotiators on it, make sure we can get the best deal for the future of all our tamariki mokapuna for the years and the generations to come. Indeed, you feel the weight of the responsibility and the burden of that task. And it's, it's not the end. It is merely the beginning. And so I salute you today. We need to acknowledge those who have passed. Rātou, kua mene atu ki te pō. Whera ki te rā te ariki mei. Engari anō ko ngā kaumātua katoa kua, kua hinga. I a rātou e tatari mo tēnei wā, ko mate atu rātou katoa. We think of those who have passed on in the recent past, but also for 175 years coming to this point in time. All of those who have gone before and fought the entire way to ensure that they had the best for our tamariki and our mokapuna at every turn. I'd also like to acknowledge Paura Whanga, Miniata Westrip, Sini Kahukura, Pauline Tangiora, who have continued to provide wisdom and expertise to ensure the story of Te Rohi o Te Wairua is told 
with integrity and that people are firmly focused on the many possibilities for the future. And so many have been involved, and of course, Dharmati Olsen, uh, who's been acknowledged already, and Te Tira Whakaemi, ready to take you on into the future. The negotiation team that was led by John Fanger is to be congratulated for what you have achieved. This is your story of your people, of your historical account, your history in your words. The account and the acknowledgement of the breaches and the apology are important parts. This is the fifth largest settlement to date, $100 million. I've been to Wairoa a bit over the last few years and spoken with your district council. And I look at the population data and think 60% of the Wairoa and the surrounding district are Māori. And I see that and go, that's fantastic. Do you know what that means for your people? To look at those numbers and think about the asset that comes with that knowledge for the people who have never given up, who are resilient, who are strong, who are here, who lead the way. I challenge the Wairoa District Council to look at those numbers and not see it as a deficit of, oh no, what are we going to do? We've got 60% Māori population. That's an asset and something to be proud of. You hold the balance of power in your rohe. And I was proud to see that this year or last year that Māori wards and Wairua were agreed in the last vote to be established to have representative places, whether or not you're Māori, but to have a place always there for your representation, that is significant. The Rohi o Te Wairua can be proud of their many, many achievements, and you only need to look at your own representative, Ta Tsimikara, Ta Turikara. The first Māori Minister of Native Affairs also can claim the accolade of being the first Māori Prime Minister as he took on that role in an acting position at least twice during his term. I'm inspired by your tamariki and your mukapuna who have the vision of the Wairua Reo Rua 2040, a bilingual Wairua. They inspire us, this future generation, already carving out a place for their future and recognise that Te Reo Māori is part of my future, part of their future, part of their identity, part of their cultural and uh, language identity for Te Wairua. And it's no surprise. The home of Te Atarangi, no surprise at all. I've got a whole great big speech that I'm not even going to get to. You know what? When I think about Te Wairua, yes, there is a lot of suffering there sometimes. There is great deprivation there. There is hurt there. People have to go to get their dialysis treatment down in Hastings, have to sell their land, can't even get home dialysis because you're on water tank supply. But the power is in your hands. You tell us. You have 60% Māori population. You have one of the largest, deeds of, uh, largest settlement redresses packages ever in the history of this nation. You have a powerful community. You have hard-working people who have learnt that by the sweat of their brow, we will make our bread. And you continue to do it today. My ancestor... Nuku Pewa Pewa was lost at the mouth of the Wairua River when he crossed, trying to cross that bar. We sing and we lament of him, but he was one of many of Kahungunu who led the way and forged a path. I don't even know what the rest of that speech said. I'm just so proud to be here with you today. This is the first step, the beginning of your road, and you've got the future in the right hands with your mokopuna and your te tira whakaimi. Nei te mihi atu ki a koutou. Koutou e taia a tīnana mai. Kai runga i o koutou poko hiwi. Tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou. <coughs>
Kia ora mai tato katoa. Mr. Speaker.